Uh, Dave, good to see you. Good to see you, John. Thanks for having me. Uh, you know, there, there's so many questions that I think investors should have uh, going through this season about what's driving the various diff uh, businesses in tech and what the differences are between them. Now, you've seen this benefit from a shift to attention in software. How's that different from the action that we're uh, seeing with uh, the businesses around Salesforce and Workday and then the DevOps players as well? Sure, so what I would tell you is that um, COVID is clearly accelerating long-term technology trends. We see every company, no matter who they are, what their background and how legacy they are, they need to be digital by default. Uh, they need to be able to innovate quickly. They need to be able to move quickly to seize new opportunities or respond to new threats. And that's why we're seeing a lot of customers engage with us to really help them transform their business. And that's why I think you've seen us deliver really strong results this past quarter. And we also added, we increased the rate and pace by which we added new customers, which I think is quite noteworthy, you know, especially in a, in a challenging economic backdrop. Now, the, the enterprise spending has been uh, an issue for, for different companies to different degrees. I mean, we saw that, that pop up for Zuora and, and for PagerDuty. We just uh, spoke to Jennifer Tejada about that. To what degree is that a factor in uh, your business uh, and, and what's outweighing it as far as the, the trends that are tilting in your direction? Well, we're going after a big opportunity. If you think about it, data is everything to an application. If you think about a retail application, an e-commerce application, a gaming application, what is an application without data? So, you know, we play a very important role in the application stack. I think what we've also done is really married a great product with great go-to-market execution. To us, that's the hallmark of building a great company. So we've become very sophisticated in terms of how we go to market. We have a high-end skill sales force. We have an inside sales team. We have a self-serve channel to monetize a long tail, and we also have a partner organization that enables us to do business with customers and expand our reach more quickly. And so all of those channels are working in virtuous cycle, which is why I think we're delivering strong results, and we have so, so far. I don't want to declare victory, but we're really pleased with the results we're seeing so far. Dave, it's Julia here. You significantly increased your revenue outlook for 2021. We hear so much from companies right now with the lack of certainty. What is giving you the insight to be able to increase your outlook, and what do you think will be driving that growth? Well, we have 20, over 20,000 customers in almost every vertical industry and geography using us for almost every conceivable use case. So we're feeling quite confident that one, MongoDB has become uh, um, basically an acknowledged leader in helping people innovate quickly. Um, two, we're, we're, we see a big mock uh, opportunity in front of us. We're just scratching the surface. And so we feel that we're just getting started and we're investing more in hiring new salespeople around the world and also investing heavily in our product. And three, when we see the results we see, it just gives us confidence that our message, our product, and our value proposition is resonating even in a difficult economic environment. We've had customers in the automotive industry. We've had customers in the airline industry. We've had customers in the hospitality industry use us to transform their business. I'll give you two quick examples. Woolworths in Australia and New Zealand is the largest retailer. They decided that they want to reduce human contact with their customers, with their 11 million customers. So they built an application to send digital receipts by ingesting point of sale data into Atlas and sending digital receipts to all their 11 million customers. 7-Eleven, a very traditional you know, convenience store, I remember it from my early days going there, um, decided that they had to be digital by default. So they built a bunch of mobile applications right. to engage with the customers in a contactless, contactless way and also to do better inventory management across their 8,500 stores. De Dev, just... who, do you, who do you think Atlas has taken the most share from? Um, I would say Atlas is really taking share from all the on-prem uh, providers. You know, we definitely see, you know, people building new apps uh, in the cloud. And we also see people re-platforming existing applications that were running on-premise on legacy technology and moving it to MongoDB and Atlas. And so Atlas, just you know, grew 66% year over year. It's growing incredibly quickly. And in just a span of a few years, it's a quarter of a billion dollar run rate business for us.